How are you? I am doing very well. Ever since in November, the people of this state voted to make weed legal. I am hoping to open retail, outlet dope stores all over the place. I had a name for my chain of giggle weed stores all picked out, but that donut place Top Pot swiped it. Oh well, that's the way the brownie crumbles, I guess. As you can see, I will have stores up and down the map selling everything from Mercer Island Lids to Marysville Jane. And my stores will also be well stocked with snacks. Cheese puffs, Oreos, mini pizzas, plus lots of bottled water and soda pop so you can avoid getting cotton mouth. Remember, you won't be able to buy Bobo Bush at QFC or Pike Place and get your bongs from me because Costco makes you buy a four pack. I want to be your reefer man, so don't settle for ditch weed. State law says I can't have any fancy signage on my stores. Check it out. No fancy signs, but you can always look for my telltale smokestacks. Come see me for some wacky tabacky. to another edition of the 206, you know. The name of this show is really a tribute to the area code that I'm proud to say I've lived in my entire life. How about you? Well, I think it's refreshing in this day and age to find at least one faithful, one area code guy who stands by it like you do, John. As for me, I guess I've been around a little more than you. I made the rounds, you know. I've had the 503, the 541, the 208, the 425, the 360. <laughs> Loved them and left them every time. Uh, excuse me, Chris, your kid. I want to weigh oh, yeah. in. Uh, I think I might be able to trump you both because you know I've had the 503, 541, 208, 425, 360, and the 509. Oh. You've had the 509? Yep. For four sweet years in Pullman, she was mine. You got her and I paid for her. Now, how does that work? <laughs> Pretty good for me. So. Look, I mean, you should be proud of any kid that can graduate Wazoo in just four years. That's true. That's a record. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, we better shake a leg here. We got a lot of show in store for you. It's time, uh, time's wasting here. Let's get cooking. Yeah. Have you noticed that there's one particular style of show that's all over television these days? Yes, it's a very successful franchise, and it is growing. All the drama of CSI New York. The beauty of CSI Miami. Now, a new chapter. Well, what do we got? Deceased, maybe two hours. Female, possibly pregnant. Well, I guess luck won't be a lady tonight. <laughs> Uh, Lieutenant, could you come back here, please? Uh, you haven't even investigated the crime scene yet. Uh, what unit are you with? CSI. Crime scene investigation? Or maybe College of Southern Idaho. OK, he's got to stop doing that. Oh, hey, you got to cut him some slack. He's a little upset, Lieutenant. He and the victim are pretty close. How close were they? Could have been a romance, we're not sure. That his wife? Mm-hmm. Does she know about the affair? We're not sure. Well, if she did, she'd have every reason to want her dead. Okay, he's got it. You gotta stop that. Well, let me explain our theory on this. It looks like the victim was simply walking along here and then a truck came around a blind curve, struck and killed her right on the spot. Oh, sure, that's what it looks like. But that's not what happened here at all. 
Now let me tell you what really happened. The jilted wife had had enough. There was a chase. The victim ran down this road, trying to escape. Nowhere to hide, so she climbed this tree. Just like the jilted wife, the branch snapped, and the victim fell head first, landing right here. Really? That's how you see it? That's the way I see it. Case closed. Lieutenant, uh, we're pretty sure the car got hit by this truck, that the driver says he hit it. Hey, you got plans for the meat? Well, what about the milk? Thank you very much. Thank you. This is John Keister. I want to talk about traffic, you know, moving around. We've been arguing about transportation in Seattle for so long that people think almost live reruns are actually new shows. <laughs> they see jokes about the viaduct and the tunnel, which seem very contemporary, and then viewers ask, why is the kingdom still there? <laughs> because it's a never-ending problem. Now, the latest news is that Big Bertha, the tunnel digging machine, has finally made it to Seattle. They're going to put it in the south end of the viaduct, turn it on, and it's supposed to surface somewhere in South Lake Union. Now, am I the only one that, that thinks that this sounds like the beginning of a really bad Michael Bay movie? I mean, I, <laughs> they turn it on, and then it's, some of them, it got loose. Then there's this real quiet scene of a guy mowing his lawn in Bothell, right? I mean, just <laughs> go with me on this, right? You know, mm, he looks over, and houses start, shoo, 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 you know, disappearing. And he's like, ah, you know, like, you know, it's one of, anyway. It's like the latest outrage comes from people who live on Mercer Island. Uh, you've probably heard about this, that the Department of Transportation is putting tolls on the I-90 bridge. And folks are saying, hey, I can't get to my house without paying a toll. Now, the only problem with this is that there's no group in the world that evokes less sympathy than people who live on Mercer Island, OK? <laughs> and I have to say, I probably should have thought about that when I agreed to do this advertisement. Take, take a look. I, this is. Are you outraged by the prospect of paying a toll to get to your home on Mercer Island? You don't have to take that. Here's your answer, the Mercer Island zip line. Just grab it and hold. It's fast, it's frequent, and it's free. Yeah, I never should have done that one. Uh, never. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. I, I always make such good decisions with my career. Besides, you know, when have Mercer Island people ever made things easier for us, you know? They put those lids on the freeway, essentially isolating themselves, saying, you can drive through here, we just don't want to see your crappy El Camino, right? That, that's what they're telling us, you know? And that isolation provoked the biggest crisis in Mercer Island history 15 years ago when the I-90 bridge to Seattle sank. Do you remember that? Huge crisis. Biggest crisis in Mercer Island history because they had to drive in through Renton, which <laughs> horrifies them. It terrifies them. The Renton people come up to the car. They start, you know, it's like a George Romero film. They're on their cell phones like, help! So just remember, there are some things that are worse than a toll. We'll be right back. Thank you. The 206, brought to you by Stingray Auto Repair, Snoqualmie Casino, and by Pemco. We're a lot like you, a little different. Somewhere, there's a line between optimism and just plain crazy. Between, hey, the sun might come out, and, hey, that might be frostbite. But around here, that line can be a little cloudy. Ghost bumped beach bum, you're one of us. And you deserve a better kind of insurance company. 
A Northwest company that'll never leave you out in the cold. Pemco, we're a lot like you, a little different. Here, the flick of the dice, the pick of the string, the clink of a glass, are fueled with a shot of adrenaline. It's an elevation above the ordinary. Snoqualmie Casino. Tonight, we open your ears and widen your eyes. Welcome to a new level of possibilities. Thank you so much. Some of the alumni from our old show, Almost Live, over the years, packed up and headed for Hollywood. Folks like Ross Schaefer, Bill Nye, Joel McHale. One guy made it as far as Fresno. Good point. <laughs> uh, but there is one local boy who made it all the way to LA where he's been on a, a number of national commercials. Maybe you've seen him. He was just featured on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Uh, the pride of Renton, Brooks McBath. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Why do they call it Renton? Cause ain't no one buying. Oh! oh. Hey, uh, do you find yourself ever missing Seattle? Oh yeah, it, it's tough to get used to all that gorgeous sunshine down there in LA. But there are days that I miss the sideways rain and the uh, Bigfoot spottings. And you know what, life isn't worth living without gardening with Cisco. You it's don't not, have that down there. there. Yeah. Am I right? So, um, what do you take it for granted? What do you think about, uh, you know, the new show we're doing here, The 206? I think it's adorable. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it's so cute. I mean, it, it, it probably wouldn't play in a bigger market like Los Angeles, but, uh, but it's great. Hey, you well, know? Hey, what, what are you talking about? This is pretty hip, we think. It's hip for Seattle. Um, you know, it, it's like Christian rock. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of edge to it, but I'm sure there's an audience, that, you know, out there that loves it. And, uh, okay, so that, that's what you think, huh? That's what yeah, you think. Well, and, and the fact that you and John get up once a week out of bed and you come out here and you're not drooling, you know, you are an inspiration to your age group. And you remind me of the old guys from the Muppets that sit up in the balcony. That's, that's what, I think, I think it's great. I think it's really great. That's, that, that's great. So all of a sudden, you know, you're the big L.A. expert on what makes TV shows hip and happening. Is that right? Hip and No one says hip and happening anymore. That is so cute that he says it's like, hip and happening. I'm still young. I'm John Keister. <laughs> These guys get their feelings hurt pretty easy, okay? So okay. Take it easy. But between you and me, since I got you here, what's wrong with the show? Confidentially? Yes, what's wrong? It's your audience. Oh. What? I'm sorry. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, I am just saying, okay, you know what? Ugly people, raise your, no, come on, raise your hand. <laughs> Ugly people here, you need to go away, okay? Man with the auburn hair, not the color auburn. You look like you have auburn oh. hair. <laughs> you need to go. Um, everyone that liked the movie Green Lantern, raise your hands. <laughs> you can never come back here, okay? Seriously, mustaches have to go, even okay. that, and ma'am, Ma'am with the mustache. No, she has a mustache, Chris. She, that woman has a mustache. We need an audience, okay? We gotta take care of these people. We can't come out here just knocking on them, all right? Did I go too far? Yeah, it's a little too much, all right? We need these people. Maybe Los Angeles changed me. No, no I, look, don't get all emotional about it. It's fine, man. It's good to see you, and I'm happy your parents are here. That's cool. My par Mom, sports bras are for the summer. Come on! <laughs> Dad, the fanny pack doesn't pull the band around back. Brooks We're going back, back everybody. Fred, enjoy it, Brenton. In some parts of the world, there's wool sock weather, and then there's sandal weather, and never the twain shall meet. Around here, the weather isn't always so decisive. Thus, an ingenious hybrid. Sandals and Socks Guy, you're one of us. And you deserve a better kind of insurance company. A Northwest company that's dedicated to helping Northwest people. Pemco Insurance. We're a lot like you. A little different. Up is better. Up is where laughter echoes off the mountains. Where senses are delightfully teased. 
and where your A-game meets our games. Don't just imagine it. Live it. Up. At Snoqualmie Casino. Win the day, then seize the night. Welcome to an elevation where dull cannot exist. Hi, John Keister here, just enjoying Seattle's most iconic landmark. Oh, no, not the needle. Over there. Yeah, that's Stingray Auto Repair, family-owned and driven by genuine customer service. They say it's dealership quality service and repair at discount prices. So take your car to Stingray Auto Repair and tell them John Keister sent you. No, don't, don't do that. That'd be weird. I mean, no, no, but do take your car to Stingray. Just don't tell them John Keister sent you. Knock, knock. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Good. What are you working on here? Just editing up a video here. I can finish it up later. No, wait, 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 wait. That's a picture of me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, when you're a little kid. It's super <laughs> cute, man. This thing is going to be a tearjerker. What? What? Uh, what is this exactly that you're working on? Oh, I should have clarified. You remember my friend Joel? Well, yeah. His dad died last week. Oh, man. Yes. That's really bad news. The guy was like my age. Actually, he was a lot younger than you. Had a heart attack, just dropped dead, done. Oh, it's awful. Joel and his family just must be devastated, huh? They were completely unprepared for that memorial, and that's not gonna happen to us, so. Um, wait, uh, this video you're working on is? For your memorial, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna no. take my time on it. You know, I wanna make it perfect. You deserve it, Dad. Uh, you know, I'm really uncomfortable with this. Um, I, uh... Oh, wait a minute. You're not going to use that photo, are you? <laughs> this one? Yes. It's hilarious. Everybody laughs at that one. Well, come on. I'm not even wearing a shirt. Dad, you'll be dead. You won't be there. You can't be embarrassed. Dad! Are you with Chris? Yeah, I, I'm with him now. I'm... You promised to mow the lawn! I'll get to it in a minute! Your mother is driving me nuts. Well, she said some pretty nice things about you. When? I interviewed her for your video. Here, well, let me show you this part. Pat was a, he was a great husband, an amazing father. I feel very lucky that we actually ended up together. The truth is, I was very much in love with his brother, Mike. I even dated his brother, Sean, for a few weeks. Oh, Pat never knew about it. In fact, out of the five Cashman brothers, I was probably least attracted to Pat. Oh, okay, stop it, stop this. I'm not on. done editing it. I can get rid of that part. I, I don't want to see any... This is weird and creepy is what that is. Well, you know what? Death is an unpleasant subject, so... Yeah, yeah, but, but I am not dead. I'm alive. I'm fine. I'm, I'm walking around. I could live another 20, 30 years. That's a spirit death. Get your butt outside now and mow the lawn. All right! You know what? Why don't you start working on a video for your mom, okay? Hi! I'm John Keister from the 206, and this is the 411. Good news! It was announced that the 4th of July fireworks are back on! But in a heartfelt show of support, the Indian tribes of the area have said if anything goes wrong, they have offered to bring down a truck full of sparklers, snakes, whistling peats, and a couple boxes of M80s. <laughs> However, due to the government sequester, the Navy has announced that the Blue Angels will not do their show at Seafair this year. Seafair organizers issued a statement saying, thank God weed has been legalized. <laughs> the Seafair pirates have also said they will do their best to step up and be way more piratey. <laughs> Comcast has announced that it will be scrambling previously unscrambled channels so that all their customers will have to move up to digital set laptops, uh, digital set uh, boxes. This applies to all television except the Fox News Network that arrives pre-scrambled. 
The Alaskan Way Viaduct will be closed for brief periods this fall due to tunnel construction activities. When asked what alternate traffic methods will be employed, officials said they've studied the problem at length and were pretty much screwed. <laughs> in other traffic news, Seattle has earned windfall amounts of money in traffic camera programs. So far, this is limited to running red lights and speeding in school zones. City officials say new cameras will be installed for new Seattle-based offenses. These include having a bumper sticker claiming your kid is an honor student, <laughs> or that dog is your co-pilot. <laughs> not waving thank you, not waving you're welcome, and actually breaking for unicorns. <laughs> a florist in Richland has refused to provide flowers for a same-sex marriage because it violates her religious beliefs. This has prompted legal action from the state's Office of Civil Rights and garnered worldwide media attention. Okay, now, there's so much wrong with this story, okay? First, the violation of civil rights, then the idea of a florist alienating their gay customer base. <laughs> and worldwide attention on Richland? That's <laughs> never good. And also, upon reflection, being gay in Richland? Hey, it's called Amtrak, okay? <laughs> All aboard! I'm John Keister for the 206. This has been the 411. This weekend, Dad says we're camping on the coast. And what Dad says goes. We don't need to check the weather report. We brought our own blue skies with us. Blue tarp camper, you're one of us. And very much like a big blue tarp, we've been giving the Northwest great coverage for nearly 60 years. Pemco, we're a lot like you, a little different. There's a place away from it all, yet closer than you imagined. Catch your breath. Is it the anticipation or the elevation? Tonight, you'll take it up a notch. Toast the moon, play to your own set list. At a playground above the fray, the expected. Snoqualmie Casino. Hello tonight, you've been expecting me. The 206, brought to you by Pemco. We're a lot like you, a little different. And by Snoqualmie Casino and Stingray Auto Repair. Ugh. How am I supposed to finish this important document? My computer keeps freezing up. Hey, you just about finished with that important document? How can I get anything done when my computer's so slow? Sounds like a virus. Yep, I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer. You're probably right. And that's why you should log on to I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com. Pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com? That's right. I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com is an effective way to rid your computer of those nasty viruses. Hey guys, the boss needs that important document on his desk before lunch. That only gives me a couple of hours. Relax, I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infectedmycomputer.com is fast, and it's endorsed by the BBB. The Better Business Bureau? No, boobs, boners, and butts. It's a group of like-minded porn enthusiasts, and they don't just endorse anything. Wow, I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com is exactly what I need. Just log on to I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com today and take advantage of their double offer. They'll fix your home computer and your work computer. I need that. My wife would kill me. And my boss would never understand. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Huh? Let's just say he's also a customer. <laughs> For a free trial, go to I'm pretty sure one of those porno websites infected my computer.com. And be sure to ask about our double offer. Good night, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by To Develop with four convenient locations. And by Cadence Winery, voted Seattle Magazine Winemaker of the Year. And by Bellevue Brewing, the newest brewery in the 425. <laughs>